Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to La Mulana 2, Imperfection is Beauty. So, today I'm going to first heal up, and then go challenge Aten Ra to another battle. This chimerification thing that Ra has been doing is an interesting take on a... Um, the Egyptian manner of fusing gods together. Like, sometimes you'll find references to Amen-Ra, for example. And we saw that here. That being said, that is about the extent of my knowledge of Egyptian, of Egyptian culture. So, yeah. Several years earlier. It's fascinating to me that Ra wanted to fuse with the weapon rather than just use the weapon. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely need healing. I mean, it won't get me a ton of extra hits, but this boss has low enough health that a few extra hits might be all it takes. You might question what I'm doing going to the Divine Fortress instead of uh, that place where Ra lives. And I question what I'm doing too, because what I really wanted to do was go to the Immortal Battlefield. Okay. My location should make it obvious if you remember what I did for the uh, previous guardian. Oh, uh, this one is much less convenient to do. There's no fairy in this place. Ooh. All right, so what? It's no wonder I keep falling for traps when my response to a an actual literal hole in the floor is, oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking and ignore it. All right. I wonder, would an attacker fairy have been more useful? Woo! Aten Ra. Ow. Alright, and then I wait here while Aten Ra smashes things. And then... Ow. Oh. Cheese combat. No, get back here, hand. Okay. Cheese combat. Oh, right. He smashes after I destroy all the hands. Not before. Woo! Oh, my fairy's gone, but that's okay. I've got this battle well in hand. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, those are some hurtful lasers. Ow. Alright, so even if I hit him with all of these that I have, it's not going to be enough and I need to actually learn how to fight him with melee weapons. Ow. Hello, little bird. What, is there still a hand left? Okay, yes, there's still a hand left. He wasn't waiting for me to walk under to try and crush me. Ow. Alright, so, new phase. Ow. Hey, jerk. Okay, what else can I use to hit him? Ow. Yay, I win! I might have even won without the cheese combat if I had been more careful about dodging lasers early on. I have obliterated Aten Ra, but the adventure continues. Okay, so I seem to recall seeing a yeah, five guardian gate in the Shrine of Frost Giants. Crucifix. What's this do? And a ritual item that guards against attacks from vengeful spirits grants invulnerability to ghost type enemies. Ooh, nice. Oh, hey. Hey, look at this purple stuff. Haven't seen this stuff in a while. Alright, off to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. Alright, so it was E1, right? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E. Oh yeah, it's even marked on the map. Oh hey, there's a fairy directly below here. I'm gonna try and get me a treasure fairy. Curses. Hey. What if I do something like this? Whoop. Nice. Good job, me. Oh, I guess the fairy hasn't had a chance to respawn yet. Oh well. Sheesh. Those explode. Oh, look! The fairy is back. Alright. So, huh, that looks different. Okay, that looks like the healing fairy again. Okay, that is probably the treasure fairy. Yes, treasure fairy. Not quite as much cash as I was hoping for. There we are. Cash. <sighs> Maybe it'll be easier to just warp here than to try and spend a bunch of a. Uh... Waits to get back up there. 
Wait, what am I doing? Okay, so. Alright, so. Cash. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm remembering that one wall in a uh, the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum. The one that I'm pretty sure has some kind of secret behind it, but I can't break it. What if you need explosives for that? Okay. I should have bought more uh, weights. I forgot to even check and see if I had said this is my current warp point or whatever it's current now. Oh, Barry's gone. Great jumping there. Well, I have cash, like 300 of it. Is there anything I wanted to buy? I know I have notes on stuff. Rose and Camellia. I'm not sure what that even does. Alright, you know what? Forgive that noise. I'm just gonna... Uh, move on. Right. Huh, I can't do the ninja claw thing either. Alright. So, wherever I wind up, I needed the defeat of Aten Ra to wind up here. The Kamandalu water pot is tolerance. It is a vessel which will tolerate any battle that provokes chaos. Okay. So I'm back in Valhalla. What part of Valhalla? Have I been here before? this mean? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look at that. Go through here. Alright, I figured that would fall out from under me, but. Ow. Alright. I have one weight left. Oh nice, it blocks out anything that doesn't work while I'm using this. Good to know.
Okay, so... Oh. All right. So what's this have to say? A child's heart sleeps in the spiral boat. The spiral depths are nestled within the deeper, darker depths of the heart. The child's heart is the final gate. The child's heart is the final gate. Well, that sounds kind of disturbing. No. Well, since I already got hit by that, no point in it. Wait, there was a shop over there. Yes, yes, welcome to Valhalla. Alright, so I have defeated five guardians. It's going to be solidly in the mid game. Whoops. Alright, let me finish trying to access uh Come on, Brain. That statue. Alright. I think I want to go in from above, question mark? Alright. It didn't matter whether I came in from above or not. What the? That is interesting. I had no idea the statue... Statue? outfit had that kind of capacity. Alright, so... No! Okay. 
I think that what that, uh... Uh, come on, brain. There's a thing there, and it does something. Now, place where I put the weights there, I think what that does is open the door to the left so I have an easier time accessing. Okay. So, this, I think, will open the way to the left. So I'll have an easier time coming back here. Yes. Alright. Well, I think that's all the new stuff that I can access in Valhalla. Hmm. Well, join me next time when I, uh, I guess go to Takagamahara Shrine again.